Alright, so first up, the Jade language. Um, so we're going to start with some language features. Um, basically, not, not heaps in this section um, today. We've got basically one kind of bigger feature and one kind of littler feature. Um, so the first one is you can now uh, pass parameters to create methods, um, i.e. constructors with parameters. Um, and second of all, oh that's by the way the big one, um, we've also got a couple of new, a useful new methods that we've chucked onto the string primitive types and replace methods and that's just the little one. So let's get started. Um, first of all, create methods. So those, as I'm sure you're all aware, they're the methods that automatically get called uh, whenever you create an object. Now previously, um, you couldn't pass any parameters to create methods, uh, so normally what you do if you're trying to instantiate an object, first of all you'd create the object and the create method would be automatically called, um, and then you'd go and you'd have something like a set properties on create method where you'd set any sort of initial properties that you might need. The goal of this is we're trying to get those two steps down to one step, um, so with the new create method we can actually pass those initial properties straight into the create method um, and combine the two steps and get single step object instantiation. So let's look what that looks like. Um, so previously, you'd, that's how you do it the old way, you would first create the object, um, so you'd have a create method, then you'd have the set properties on create uh, method. You have to do those two steps every time you're creating an object. Again, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to shrink that down to one step. So, this is what it looks like in J2018. We can do a single step object instantiation, um, i.e. we can pass some, creators, uh, some parameters straight into create, um, and that way you can set the initial properties of the, um, of the object. Uh, you now won't need any sort of set properties on create method. Um, now, I want to actually bring up the idea and we can have a little bit of a look at what that's going to look like. Um, so, my first little demo, let's see how this will work. If I bring this over to here, and then I have um, Prima Construct Demo, open up this browser. So first of all, again, we've got customer, create. See, I'm now passing a parameter to the create method. And when you want to actually do the create, you're going to need to um, put in some slightly different um, stuff than previously. So previously you do something like create cust, and then maybe tr say it's a transient. Obviously if it's persistent, you need to be in a transaction. So you do something like that previously. Because we need to pass in some parameters, what we're going to do now is we're going to have this, um, this variable still, and we're going to assign it to the create statement. I'm going to put the class name there, and then you can put whatever parameter you need. Now that's, that's all pretty simple for that simple case where you've just got um, you know, a single class with its uh, parameterized constructor. Um, the tricky one, of course, is when you start getting into subclassing. So I won't save that, thank you. So let's say that customer has a subclass, which is called VIP customer, and in that create method, um, you've got an extra, um, extra thing you need to set, title. Now, you still need to call customer's create method and, you, and pass its parameter in, right? But then you also need to pass in this title. So what you can do, you pass in both parameters to the subclass create, and then we've got this new colon colon super, um, and that's just going to be how you pass any parameters you might need up to the super class. So then going back to the Jade script, all you need to do is, if you're creating the subclass, you pass in both of these two parameters, the, this Tim, which was the name, that's going to go to customer, and the Sir, which was the title, um, is going to go to specifically that VIP subclass title um, property. Um, just one last thing I want to say about this is there was this create cust as class, where class is whatever class it was, that would work with um, the old kind of creates. Uh, you can't actually do that with the new create with parameters simply because we need to know um, at compile time um, 
what parameters you're going to need. So we, we can't use create as with that. So with that, we'll just pop back to here. Sorry, does that only not mm. work if you've got parameters in your parameters that still work? That is correct. Um, and another related point around that, um, the old create um, style where you, um, you know, just do create class and all of that sort of stuff, that all works. Your existing code will all work unchanged. It's only if you want to start chucking in the parameters into your create methods that you'll need to use the new syntax. What happens if you've got code doing a, a copy or a clone object with it? Create would normally be called. That all break? Um, I've got a nod from Nick, yes. Um, do you want to elaborate on that at all, Nick? <coughs> it's on. Yeah, good morning, I'm Nick. Um, the, uh, there are a number of classes uh, where, well, there are, there are a number of classes where when instances get created, by the by, the product. If the parameter, if you can't have parameter, parameterized constructors on those classes because those parameters are not known, and clone would be an example of a, when you we don't have a way of passing the parameters of the class, you'll get a runtime exception. Uh, we won't, we can't syntax it at compile time because we don't necessarily know what's what's happening. Thanks, mate. I don't know how to switch it on. I said, <laughs> don't know how to switch it on. Alrighty. So yeah, if the basically what we saw is if the class of super class has parameters, you have to pass them in using colon colon super. Um, if the class um, has create method with parameters, you have to use this new create syntax. And as Nick mentioned, there are some limitations um, that come around with that. Um, so you can't use the new create syntax with create as or clone, um, but you know, for the, the more simple cases, I guess you can save yourself a step in your object instantiation. Cool. So that was the, the big language feature. Now for just a very small one to finish this off here. Um, we've got a couple of extra methods on the string primitive type. Um, hopefully you'll find them useful. Um, first of all, you'll notice replace, replace from, they're both ending in double underscore. That's simply to try and avoid naming conflicts. We realize that you might have already put a replace method on your string primitive. We don't want to clash with your name there. Hopefully no one has any method named replace underscore underscore. So if you do, um, if you did have a method named replace underscore underscore, you might need to rename that before upgrading. Um, but yeah, that's why it looks a little bit funny having that there. Because we, we wanted to call it replace and replace form, but we didn't want to clash with you. So, Important question, what do they do? What do they do? So the replace is a little bit like the replace char, the replace character method, except instead of just replacing one character, you can replace an entire substring. Um, so for instance, in this case, uh, we have um, this string called my string, and we want to replace all of the instances of he slash she with they. Um, so you can call replace underscore underscore, you pass in, what you want to look for, what you want to replace it with, and this third parameter is just whether you're going to ignore case or not. So true, if it's capital he, she, then it'll also swap it. And you'll see when you look at what it does, it just swaps all of the he, she's for they's. Pretty simple. Um, next one along was replace from. Pretty much the same deal, except you're only replacing one instance. Um, so you're going to have an extra parameter, this parameter in here, 40. That's the position you're going to start with. Um, and it's just going to find the first instance after that position and do a place on that one. So you can see in this one, you're starting at position 40, so that means we're skipping the first one. Um, it's doing one replace, and then it's not doing any more replaces. It's only doing one of them. <laughs> 